I spend no check, just to get fly, you spend no check, just to get high Cough on my lungs, OG got me fried, Louboutin Christian, they bleeding my dime Dane is white tea, that ain't no ink, and that ain't no dye, that ain't no dye Cut on my ties Adam, man. Yeah, I know. That's why everybody's been thinking for the last 20 minutes. Is, <laughs> don't y'all have something to talk about? <laughs> yeah, what's going on, man? Uh, I don't know. Let me know something, man. Like, what we learned? I feel like you're disappointed because now I'm a rapper having motion <laughs> and I'm not even writing songs about you. I feel like you were probably pissed when the freestyle came out and I didn't have any bars for you. Skipped right over you, went before straight to J Main. Before the freestyle. Oh, I don't even remember anything before that. Although I was just thinking we did that whole interview with Flame in which he like, remember he's telling the funny no ass flame. story about him stealing his shit while he went to the store or something? Oh, yeah. yeah, see, 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 he instigated it. I already see how he doing it. He instigated Wow. Imagine a nigga come to you and tell you another nigga robbed you. How you going? He robbed me? What? Watch, watch, watch. When this shit, when the nigga... Hear what he said back in his head, he's gonna react. I already know it. I already know it. nothing to do with flying. Flying oh, okay. ain't steal none. See? No, he said Google stole from him, right? See? Huh? Listen. I'm, not the story I'm gonna tell you some real shit, though, Adam. Okay. My thing is with you, man. Mm. Like, even where, where we went bad at, the moment I did my interview with you, we, um, I talked to you before the cameras was even rolling. Mm. I said, I ain't even wanna talk about that billionaire shit. You feel me? Just off the strength of that's Doug homie. They all was we all was in cahoots with each other. Mm -hmm. And I just ain't got time to be, you know what I'm saying, bashing the next motherfucker on the internet or whatever. Then the first thing you started to interview off with was I uh, you said you didn't want to talk about the billionaire shit. <laughs> and I literally just told you this. So it's like, why well, speak about it on camera? I but, felt you want, didn't up. want to talk about it. See Adam be testing a gangster. That's what it is. I didn't be testing a gangster because he probably got mad security around him. So, you know, they're not going to touch. He could sue and all that shit. So he be testing them. He be testing them when that camera come on. Man. Dirk specifically. But, uh, listen, this was the thing, though. It's like even after the interview, I talked to you. I'm like, I don't know. I just want to see the interview before it come out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? To see yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Just because I ain't got time to be stirring all goofy shit up. I ain't got time for that. But you literally... Any other time I DM you, you hit me back. But this particular time when I'm DMing you, telling you, like, send me the video, the clip, you're not hitting me back. Now you drop it. And you knew I talked to you and you agreed upon this. As a man, when you tell somebody I'm going to do this, you got to stand on it. Where I'm from. So, and you ain't stand on your word. Yeah, I should have been more direct and Hold just up. told you I was going to put it out. Let me, realistically. let me keep going. I ain't even done. Oh, it's like, okay. and then another thing you won't have plan with. Folks, mama, like Doug, mama, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck how much you plan. Don't play with folks, OG. I think that was a mutual thing. Her and I had this I'm little flirtatious to, joke to hit thing going on. Shit. I mean, have you seen mama. the interview? She's around with me like that, Listen, calling me handsome and all this shit, too. It's thing, not just like, like, you remember that day? We could not believe the way she was flirting look, with me. At the end of the yeah, day, nice. another thing, you play with Wooski, bro. Like, just That's let me problem. out. We, we, we talk. I don't care if y'all talk. That ain't that. I got a personal problem with it because mm. it's the principle of you playing with him about him getting shot in the head. That shit ain't no joke. You, do you know that was at my best friend's funeral? Yeah. Damn. Do you know that that my best friend mama couldn't even bury her son the right way? Mm. Like. The funeral was completely over after that. My right. father's running everywhere. My mama was there. My son was there. He wasn't even yeah. six months. That's why it's personal. For sure, Wooski should have thought about that you, before he started I'm talking shit to me. Because when you start doing battle in hip hop, no. you're going to use Wooski whatever you got about you. to talk shit. He you did. He started shit internet. with me, so I mentioned Bro, something like that. You went on an interview with Cairo and brought up Wooski. Right, in a very Plan light him, way, like, like barely the the idea that that was that recited, deserved the reaction that you, he then gave me is fucking insane. Just you basically recited lyrics that you knew was really serious, bro. That like behind the situation. I think hey, you're listen, you're, you're, you're taking Hold different up. situations and combining them together, though, because that was all about Sean Cotton saying but that he didn't think saying. Cairo had Wooski vibes. Listen, when you do that, you place yourself. Okay, so he's saying Shay Cheese, Sean Cotton, Shay Cheese didn't, um, Brody didn't have Wooski vibes. Okay. okay. Taking Hold different up. situations and combining right, them up. together, though. Because that up. was all about Sean Cotton saying but that he didn't think saying. Cairo had Wooski vibes. Cairo Listen, when you do Wooski that, right. you place yourself in street shit. Right. It get real after that. Okay. Like, for real, gang. Like, like on some real shit. Like, if I would have came in here right now 
with, some, with four pairs of boxing gloves and set the business on the table right now. Like, come fight me right now. Let's go fight. Would you? No, that's just goofy. Exactly. As fuck. That's what I'm telling you. I would have looked at you like you this were doing some I'm stupid ass you. clout shit if you did something like that, when, for sure. It wouldn't be no clout shit because you ain't going to post it anyway. But this is what I'm telling you. At the end of the day, if I ask you that type of shit and you ain't really willing to even just fight, don't stop egging it on, gang. Like, if you ain't literally just willing to fight, why do you think that? About See, Adam is backwards, bro. Adam is backwards. You're not going to fight because that's clout shit. You feel me? That's clout shit. But you're going to try to mix yourself up in this shit right here just for likes and clout. You feel me? That shit's weird, bro. You're going to talk shit about a nigga, but you don't want to fight. You don't want to stand on what you was talking about. It's weird. Why do I Hold need up. to be on board with even, listen, fighting? Like, listen. I've never said I was a Boxer. I'm not even, Why do I need to be a boxer listen, all of a sudden? When you got on the internet and you said, Ruga a bitch, acting like a bitch, them fighting words to me. We don't play about that shit. Now, I could come in here and really get on bullshit. You see what I'm saying? We don't play about certain shit. And you got to understand when you step in that field, you got to accept everything that comes. Nah, I'm funny shit. Bro right here on the end, feel me, right here, he chilling. Like, he chilling, like, feel me? He look like he the second nigga to jump. You feel me? The nigga on the far, the far end. He look like he already want to slap the shit out of Adam, bro. It look like if Adam say one more word that he don't like, he gonna slap the shit out of Adam, bro. Like With this it. nigga not playing over here. Ain't no. I just want to turn this button off now. Now I want to turn this button off. Um, I don't want to do this, but nah. You forgetting the other shit that come with it? Do I seem like I'm worried about that? At the end of the day, gang. Do I seem like I'm worried about any of the shit? Like, there's a lot of threats. Said, there's a lot of ideas. Told me, I'm just, chilling. You just sat here and said, if I asked you with the boxing glove to fight, you said you would not do it. Right. So you are I'm worried not about a boxer. It. You know why? Because you worried about getting knocked the f out. No, because I just don't want to take part you in goofy about ass clout shenanigans. Out. It wouldn't be no clout shit. You know why? Yes, it is. You wouldn't have no cameras rolling. Challenging a non boxer to a boxing match when I've never said or done anything that suggested that I wanted to be a boxer. What the so different about me and you. You older than me. Okay. What the fuck is so different? I'm gonna pull up to do an interview with you, and I'm gonna bring a snowboard, and we're What's gonna so have a different? contest. Who's the best snowboarder? Because that's different? exactly as logical as you deciding that I should be a boxer now. Bro, you just dropped a diss on to people, and you was trash as hell. What? At the end of the day, you that might have been the first person I heard that say that. Shit. This is what I'm telling you. I heard a lot of people say they think I'm nicer on the mic than you are. I'm gonna keep it real, bro. That shit was ass. What? He was ass. That was my first song. But I think I snapped. All right. Make it your last, man. No. We got more. <laughs> we got I another heard. one that'll probably be out by the time this comes out. All right. That's cool. Keep doing what you're doing. I hope you make it in your rap career. But look, stop playing with people if you're not ready for the outcome that come with the shit. Man. Why do you think I'm not ready? Because you're not. You just sat here and said you wouldn't even fight. So yeah. you're not ready. That's what I'm telling you. Being you're not. ready is not the same as having to take part in goofy ass crowd shenanigans. Some real shit. Air nigga tell you in Cali what they say. We run a phase around. They run phase around this bitch. You hanging out with the wrong guys in Cali. Exactly. But they don't run phase in Cali. Not a lot. Not Whatever a lot. going on. We fight where we from, nigga. Chicago. At the end of the day, if a motherfucker, got, Chicago you, fight. This is like very you, different than everything I've been led to shit, believe about Chicago. Really, no, Chicago fight. We oh, who? Yes. When's the last time we heard about a, a famous Chicago brawl? Now you know what it is. Everybody don't be in there, but Chicago shit. fight. I'm going to tell you some real shit. That's really light what I'm actually telling you. Fight. Niggas really kill motherfuckers in Chicago. You should kill That's me. what they do. I love but what I I'm telling you is. Somebody should shoot me. For but what sure. I'm telling you is, Adam. Yeah. You're going to get f***ed up one day if you keep tweaking with people. I'm telling you, bro. I'm going to be real. It's not going to be a good outcome the for threats, you. The threats, the like vague, like, oh, something's going to happen to you. Ain't nobody threatening you. The 22 star ain't. You give him a little warning, bro. Like, yo, like, you know, like if your man is telling you be careful. Like, I feel like Ruga is telling him to be careful. Like the hit might not come from Ruga. It might come from another rapper. You feel me? He just telling you be careful, bro. Because if you're not willing to fight. Get ugly for you, bro. Pressed. I'm Trust you, me. <laughs> I ain't threatening you. I'm good. I'm telling you. If if somebody Sounds like asks a threat. you, Sounds like you're trying to threaten me. At the end of the day, I'm telling I'm not you as real. I'm telling you as a man, nigga. Right. You gonna get f***ed up out here playing. Okay. Remo, no. He, he over there looking like... Yeah, Remo, <laughs> look at him. Like, I, I Remo, you know. I'm with whatever Listen, I get though. myself into. 
But listen, you not because you said you wouldn't even fight a person. You that's talk, goofy as you fuck. You talking about some clout. But oh, listen, I'm going to give you boxing you gloves. Some real like, shit. That's some goofy ass clout shit. And you know it. You know it. I'm really saving your face. You know it. Saving your face. But Number listen, one, I never listen, signed up to be a fighter. At the end of the day, so if somebody starts you ain't telling me like, to be oh, a rapper you're, you're not a great, yes, I did. No, I literally did. I made a song. That was me signing up. Was when I made the song. That shit was trash. You ain't signed up to be no rapper. So you're telling me that I'm but not a good it. rapper. Do you so think that that impacts my shit. like stop ego? Do you think I'm what worried I'm about not is, being a good rapper? Yes, you are because you just sat here and said you wouldn't fight if it came down to it. You my whole soft. thing is that I'm not willing to you take soft. people and let them convince me that I need to fight but you to can, defend you my man. Get on platform and let them convince you you can try to convince people that you tough and you this and that when have i but ever I'm acted like you, i was tough on some real shit just speaking on street shit to get you up i'm telling okay. you that i'm just gonna let you know i'm good I, with the vague threats you ain't yes you ain't you unless you're be. gonna do something you wouldn't be. i don't want to hear it do you want to fight no i right, can't <laughs> shut the yo adam is taunting him bro adam is taunting him bro i'm just gonna let you know i'm good I, with the vague threats you ain't Yes. You ain't. You Unless you're going to do something, you wouldn't be. I don't want to hear it. Do you want to fight? No. All right, then shut the <laughs> up. Then why are you on the Stop podcast? Talking. Stop talking. You don't get to tell me to a, shut the listen, up on my listen, podcast. If this I was is a, if my I was podcast out, that you were very upset. Out this bitch, when I told you you weren't invited listen, on this podcast, Remo, you were very I'm upset. Remo now. Hey, listen. You're talking to me on my podcast. It hit him in his mouth. Say I hit him in his mouth. What are you going to do? What do you think I'm going to do? He go. He gonna try to sue. He gonna be one of them soft ass, soft ass. How people. am I gonna sue you when I got way more soft. money than you? Cause you. That's soft. not usually how it works. Cause you soft. So you telling me if I hit you in your mouth, you ain't gonna sue me? I don't need to sue you. You ain't asking my question. Am I gonna sue you? Why would I sue somebody that I have way more money than? If I hit you in your mouth, then what? I feel like that would really betray the fact that you told Remo that you didn't have a problem with me and really just wanted At to talk the on the, day, the podcast. It's the principle. I'm telling you something. You need to learn something. So some. you're scared of you getting sued You need to learn something from another grown man. You want me to do it? Sure. If I but hit hey, you, go crazy. Your security going to run crazy. in here? Hey, hold on. What, you say? what, what else is he here for? What else is he here for? Your security going to come in with his gun? Why else is he here? Hey, but look. look. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But hold on. So stop talking. If you were really on some tough shit, you wouldn't care about that, right? Listen, you. I don't put myself honestly, out here on some tough shit. If you was really on some tough shit, you wouldn't care about that. That nigga's thinking about the second and third move, my nigga. He thinking about long term already, bro. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? He's saying if he hits you in your mouth, you're going to sue him. You couldn't answer the fucking question. All right, boom. Now he got off that. Now, if I hit you again, it's your security guard going to come in here and try to harm me. Fuck. If he can do it with his hands, cool. I could defend myself, but is he gonna come with his gun? You feel me? You hear the question that the nigga asked him? I like, not. Okay. If you were really on some tough shit, you wouldn't bro. care about that, right? Listen, you. I don't put myself honestly, out here on some tough shit. I I've never shit. came on here and told I, even I am get the no best fighter. From punching when you. have I ever came on the podcast and said, "Oh, I'm the toughest"? It's the shit you mentioned. It. Like I what? just told you. I just spoke on my homie. Your food, example you spoke on that is shit. basically like telling me that even Stop though Wooski dissed me At and talked shit day, to me first, that I shouldn't man, be able to talk back shit. to him in you response. You did that shit. You throw the rock and you hide your hand. That's not true. That's he what the threw fuck the rock. you do. You throw the rock and hide your hand. He threw the rock. And just like I said... At the end of All the day, I did was respond. If you ain't you're ready, trying to tell me that for some reason you not I can't respond to somebody when he disses me. If you ain't ready for what come with it, leave that street shit alone. I'm ready. For real. I'm you good. Because you're not even ready to fight. That's that ain't you even, coming that up ain't with an that. arbitrary way for so her to prove our masculinity. And I'm letting you know that if you want to have a boxing match, I want to have a snowboarding bro, competition. Bro. It's so exactly the same thing. Just do it. say you scared. Do it. I'm do not a fighter. It. So if you do this, if just you say you scared. Like, There's a no, reason I move around the way that I do. So it's because I I'm don't want you. someone like you to if try you to think know, that you can bully me. If you said the reason, I would have been up there snowing like a motherfucker. You feel me? Ski? Like you feel me? Fuck it, this nigga told me. The way that I do so is because I don't want you. someone like you to try to think that you can bully me. If you said the reason why you move, why you move? Because you don't want a motherfucker to fuck you up, right? Well, of course. So why the what the fuck is you doing the shit you doing? Cause it, the shit talking get to you people on the up. internet that'll get you up though. You contradicting yourself.
All the threats in the world don't mean shit to me. You got to do it. You contradicting yourself. You got to do it. Bro, you not. Like, on some real shit. You know where I'm at every day doing content. I just asked you, would you fight me in gloves? And And again, you you coming up with an arbitrary way for us to prove our manhood doesn't interest me. Like, like for real. We can talk on a podcast. You have to express yourself with words. I ain't going to embarrass you. I ain't even going to embarrass myself on this podcast and bust off your ass. Cause I can. That for I sure would be a, that would embarrass you. This is you. the whole like you would get my whole left hand around and do some shit to you, boy. I don't even know but why listen, you think you could come on listen, my podcast and talk shit to me like this yeah, when you're obviously not going to do shit. Worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, listen, you're going to have to leave if day. you want to keep talking. Look, leave, because nobody is interested in hearing you talk leave. shit like that. He want a motherfucker to leave because he's scared. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. If you want to take it serious, let's bring it back a little bit. Let me talk to you. Nigga said, you gotta do something if you want me to take you serious. Adam keep poking the bed, bro. Keep poking the But nigga, he is bro. interested in hearing you talk Lee. shit like that. He want a motherfucker to leave because he's scared. Let's bring it back. You gotta do something if you want me to take you serious. Let's bring it back a little listen, bit. Let me talk to you. Uh, so You're listen. gonna have to be polite if you want to stay on listen, this podcast. Listen. Can we talk about this podcast? Nah, hold on. Then why did you beg to come on here? To be honest, I really wanted to come in and beat your ass. Yeah, but you're not. You wanna go box? Let's go get your face. Man, Again, I don't want to box. I listen. Off my word. Because listen, hold on. I can have you removed. Right you now. Can catch Do you want to go? Face. I know. You want to go wait outside? Hey, listen, but my son, listen me and to me. Shot, me and if you shot it up, bro. Like, off the shirt, though. I'm going to leave out this bitch like a man. That's, That's cool. what I'm going to do. Right. Or you can that sit here and talk me. like a man. You got the police in here. How is it a police? That ain't going to move me. It's cool. I just don't know why you're so convinced that this is a good place for you to talk like you're tough. Right. I'm not talking about I'm not a boxer. I've made that extremely clear. Stop talking. Stop talking. I'm a podcaster. Why the f*** would I stop talking? Stop talking. That's your problem. Why would I stop talking when I'm a podcaster? All you gonna do is hit the table. Come on, man. This nigga not even raising his... Ruger not raising his voice, bro. Like, why does he have to leave? Like, I'm confused, bro. He, he, he didn't say he was gonna hit him. He said, if he did, you feel me? What's gonna be the consequences? You feel me? Like, this nigga's a bitch. You would hit the table. But All you you're doing me. is sitting here yapping. Hey, so look, we we talked it up. We said that everything was cool. <laughs> yeah, hey, Why, I don't you know. I this seen the mess. Yeah, you Listen. try to do the old switcheroo. Who want my act tough you as soon as I get on the, the podcast? Police. Oh, I can handle my own business as well. Don't come worry. on. Yeah. And then they said, "Why he come on a podcast like this?" Adam started it when he said that somebody robbed Ruga. The fuck. Uh. I don't handle it by doing boxing matches with cavemen who want to act scared, tough man. instead of doing a podcast. Now he racist. I'm not a boxer. Now his racistness coming oh, out. And now you you're going to play the race you card. You're talking about cavemen? You racist, man. I'm describing your brain. You weird. Not your race. You weird. I'm going to ask you to leave. That's cool, Ali. Totally. But I'm telling you, you a bitch. I don't care. Yeah, yo, that's a handsome guy. <laughs> What was he saying? What was he saying right here? What was he saying right here? You handsome guy. Nigga, come on. Sure. I'm going to get up out of here. Don't touch me, though. But listen, yeah, you're going to have to go. Handsome guy. You're going to have to go. I bet come you, on. y'all, he, he delete this out. I you're bet you he delete this out the interview. You're going to have to go. You're a handsome guy. Capable of acting Shut like up. a handsome guy. Bless up. You uh, can is he, is he calling him the F word? Like, that belongs to the community type shit? Like, wait, that's what he's saying? Like handsome guy. Hey, Behave, like that. Handsome. Behave like a grown up. Handsome shit. Behave like a grown up, Ruga. Come on. Get the f out. Touch you? Get out of here. You scared. You're fired. Who's a handsome guy? <laughs> handsome guy. Come on, handsome guy. Yeah. Yo, get the f out. You got a soft ass security. We're not. Oh, okay. oh, my son. That's crazy. He's soft as hell. Come get out of here. I'm- Look, security. Security want to act tough, want to grab on the shirt and shit like that. Cause they say he's soft. You got some soft ass security. I'm crying. You got a soft ass security. We're not. Oh, okay. my son. That's crazy. Come he's on. soft as hell. Come get out of here. I'm a, we hey, can run the fade. We can yeah, run the fade. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, look. Come on, y'all. No. No. Put your phone down. Put your phone down. Put your phone down. Put your phone down. Come on. Put your phone down. We can run the fade. We can run the fade. Put the gun down. We can run the fade. Everybody in that bitch scared to run the fade, bro. That shit's tough.